It was, said another man. He won't do it again. Isn't he a prime lad? The same lad to take a woman with him that never said as much to him as how do you do since this time last year, says the third man. Perhaps he likes to be looking at her, said another man. And if the Omadon only knew that there's an herb growing up by his own door, and if he were to boil it and give it to her, she'd be well, said another voice. That's true for you. He's an Omadon. Don't bother your head with him. We'll be going. We'll leave the Bodok as he is. And with that, they rose up into the air, and out with them, with one Wunia Bunia, the way they came, and they left poor Gulish standing where they found him, and the two eyes going out of his head, looking after them and wondering. He did not stand long till he returned back, and thinking in his own mind on all he saw and heard, and wondering whether there was really an herb at his own door that would bring back the talk to the king's daughter. It can't be says he to himself, that they would tell it to me, if there was any virtue in it. But perhaps the she-hog didn't observe himself when he let the word slip out of his mouth. I'll search round as soon as the sun rises, whether there's any plant growing beside the house except thistles and darkings.